Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandy here and welcome to another video here on the channel. And today we actually have a rebuild. And as you guys can see by the title, we are doing the Minnesota Timberwolves today. Now I am going to be doing some of these rebuilds for the first maybe like 10 teams or first 10 picks of the NBA draft because the draft is about a month, a little over a month away. Uh, and I wanted to do it on current gen and then do it again on next gen. But on next gen, I'm going to do it with who they actually select um so yeah i wanted to kind of just i don't know kind of guess on who i think they will take or who i think they should take so today obviously we're gonna go in order so today we are doing the minnesota timberwolves um you know and later on this week i'll go ahead and do golden state then whoever has the third pick i believe that's charlotte oh uh, yeah charlotte then chicago then cleveland on and on and on so yeah i i'm gonna do some rebuilds uh, for some of these teams, so obviously, we are going to start with the Timberwolves. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, please do subscribe. We just hit 1,000 subscribers not too long ago. We're trying to hit 1,100, so I'd appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video and want to see more. And comment down below if there's any other videos that you guys want to see here on the channel. If you really want you know, to see a certain rebuild or a career resim or a um, you know, career resim versus... Uh, or a what if anything like that if you guys want to see anything different here on the channel uh, let me know in the comments down below so obviously with the Minnesota Minnesota Timberwolves they made a trade this past season a couple of trades actually they got D'Angelo Russell from Golden State played in uh or well, I guess this this doesn't count here but um 23 points per game six assists and four rebounds uh with Golden State and Minnesota uh, Malik Beasley is on this team. They traded they traded for him from Denver. He averaged 11 a game last year. Um, you got uh, Josh Okoji, uh, I believe is how you say his name. Um, he's over in Minnesota. You got Jared Culver, who they took last year. He averaged 9-3. and three. You got Wancho, they, they got in a trade from Denver. Um, but other than that, I mean, this team is... I don't know. I mean, I, obviously, whoever they, t they take first overall, that's a big deal probably gonna let a lot of these guys go uh mclaughlin i mean five foot eleven played in the g league 77 overall i don't know we'll see if he can if he can develop a little bit um but I, i'm gonna kind of focus on jared culver i want to try and get jared culver going obviously towns and russell um we got a lot of shooting guards here on this team and that's where it's gonna be really interesting to see who they take with the first overall pick, uh, obviously this is a little bit messed up. Uh, I did fix it though. Here's the thing. You have Carl Anthony Towns, so you're not going to take James Wiseman. You have a couple shooting guards. You took Jerry Culver last year. You traded for Malik, uh, Malik Beasley. Do you want to take Anthony Edwards? And then you have D'Angelo Russell who can play at the two. He's not really a great passer. So I feel like Melo Ball might be the right choice. It's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know who I would take honestly if I was if I was Minnesota. I honestly like in my mind I take best player available and then figure things out. So I think what I'm gonna do. I don't. I'm not gonna take James Wiseman. Although I I do think James Wiseman will probably end up being the best player in this draft. Maybe Lamelo Ball. Uh, maybe Lamella Ball, six foot eight point guard. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'm tempted to take Anthony Edwards because I feel like you need another scorer. The problem is, is that D'Angelo Russell, I mean, six assists. Uh, I guess he could stay at point. 25 years old. Okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and I think we're going to take Anthony Edwards. I don't know. Let me go ahead and get to the draft here. Um,. Yeah, I think the safest bet, I think the best play in this draft is Anthony Edwards. I'm going to take Anthony Edwards here, and we're going to rebuild around them. If they decide to take someone else, obviously, we'll go ahead and do that rebuild in next gen. The Golden State Warriors, though, they take LaMelo Ball. James Wiseman goes three. Uh, Okonwu goes four. And Cole Anthony goes five. Uh, so let's go ahead, sim the rest of this. Um, Halliburton goes six. Maladin goes seven. Knicks take Okoru. RJ Hampton goes to the Wizards. Hayes goes to the Suns. Avita drops all the way to the Spurs. That would be a heck of a Spurs pick. Not going to lie. Obi Toppin goes 9. So, 
Let's see, rookie sign is here. Oh, that's right. They had the 17th overall. Hey, I, I probably would have taken Isaiah Stewart. Um, that's a great pick. So I'm happy with that. I will take that. Uh, we're going to decline Isaiah Joe's contract. So uh, yeah, Isaiah Stewart, if he was there, I would have 100% have taken Isaiah Stewart. So I love that pick. We're going to take Edwards and Stewart. Team player options here. Obviously, we're going to accept. Uh, we're going to accept a Koji. Fuller or Fuller. Culver, we will. Spellman, I'm going to let go. Noel, I'm going to let go. Evans, I'm going to go ahead and let go. So we're just going to keep those two there. Um, and then let's see. Kawhi Leonard declined. Paul George declined. Uh, interesting. I mean, I'm going to keep this as realistic as possible. So I'm no one like no one at this point is probably going to go to Minnesota. Um, let's see. Wancho. 75 overall, a stretch four. And eh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna offer. I am gonna offer Beasley a contract. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, offer Martin Vanderbilt. Um, I'm not gonna offer McLa uh, McLaughlin a contract either. So uh, let's go ahead and give a qualifying offer to Malik Beasley. So let's go ahead and look at this roster here. Um, we got Daniel Ross at the one, Edwards at the two. I like that. Uh, at the three, I mean, Koji could start for us at the three. He's six foot four though. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, Jared Culver though, six foot six. I think I'm probably gonna end up starting at the three. Get him going uh, unless I sign someone at the three. Uh, at the four, Isaiah Stewart and Towns at the five. Nas Reed as well as a backup. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go ahead and look at free agency here. Obviously, we're going to go realistic. Um, we we do need a backup point guard. Uh, Conley would be interesting, but he's a lot of money. How much money do we actually have? Can we... Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can't afford Giannis. Uh, we got 80 mil. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Conley would be interesting. Conley could be interesting. Uh, we could go for... I don't really want to spend too much, though, on a backup point guard. Uh, Kendrick Nunn is restricted. Rondo, DJ Alcastine, Mark, uh Michael Carter-Williams. Monte Morris. I would love to go after Monte Morris as a backup point guard in Minnesota. Okay, so this is what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to go ahead and sign Monte Morris as backup point guard. Cap hold Malik. We're going to go ahead and re-sign Malik. And I believe that's pretty much... All we can really do at this point. I think we're pretty much tied up in money. Let's go ahead and offer Beasley just a basic contract here. Uh, we wouldn't be able to keep him though. Hmm, okay, we're going to cap hold and just see what happens. Um, maybe we can match or he'll just take the qualifying offer. Uh, if he does, I think we're good. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, did I count? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nas Reed will keep as our backup center. So yeah, I'm good with that. Let's keep Malik if we can. And we should be good. So hopefully he uh, accepts that qualifying offer. And he does. Cool. So that was a nine-man rotation. So here in training camps, we only have two. I'm going to go untapped potential to Anthony Edwards. Um, and I'm going to go untapped potential to Jared Culver. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is gonna be the rotation I'm gonna run with. I'm gonna go Danja Russell, Edwards, Culver, Stewart, and Towns. We're gonna start two rookies. Uh, and then we got Okoji, Morris, Beasley, and Nas Reed uh, to round out the lineup. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, we're not gonna really have a scoring uh, preference here. Uh, we're gonna go, I mean, average tempo, I guess. Uh, we might have to fire uh, Thibodeau because I, I just don't think he's a good fit for this team um let's let's stick with balance if we can yeah three and a half stars all right let's stick with balance here all right so year number one is over and we go 36 and 46 so about where i expected for a pretty young team nicole Jokic wins mvp james wiseman wins rookie of the year demarcus cousins wins six man of the year dpoy is anthony davis and atlanta apparently uh robert williams uh wins most improved and uh, Vaughn wins coach of the year. Uh, let's see. Do we have anyone on any? Okay, so Anthony Edwards is on the all-rookie first team. 19.7 points, 5 rebounds, 4. To good. That's a pretty good rookie year. I'm okay with that. Uh, and then Isaiah Stewart's on the second team, 11.7, 8.2. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Uh, and then Towns was on the All NBA third team, 25, 13, and four. Shot pretty decently. Um, so again, uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with that actually. Uh, all defense first team, we did not get anyone, and no one on the second team. So obviously we did not make the playoffs, but I think we have a pretty good team. Uh, the Nets end up winning the NBA Finals. Kyrie wins Finals MVP. We're here in the draft lottery, and the Warriors apparently have our first round pick. Fantastic. Um, okay, it is lottery protected though, uh, and the Warriors have the seventh overall pick apparently. So let's go ahead and simulate this, and we end up with the. We just. We we just got we just got the third overall pick. Oh my god, we just got lucky. Holy moly, we just got lucky. Wow. Okay, so we just got the third overall pick. I couldn't like see the, the Timberwolves on there. I was like, where are they? And then I saw the picture. I'm like, wait, we got the third overall pick. All right. Um. So they have us taking Cade Cunningham. If he's there, we're taking Cade Cunningham. We do need a small forward as well. Um. I, I think Kate Cunningham, though, goes one or two. But we could take Jalen Green or BJ Boston and maybe move one of them to the three. Jalen Green, six by six. Boston, six by four. Kate Cunningham, six by seven. I really want Kate Cunningham. Hmm. I wonder if we could possibly maybe make a trade. Uh, let's see. Trade Finder. Who had the number one pick? Shoot, I already forgot. If we can get the number one pick, I want Kate Cunningham. The Knicks. The Knicks finally get a number one pick. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see. Will the Knicks give up that number one pick? And what would it take? What would it take? They, they want Anthony Edwards or Towns. Okay. Well, that's not happening. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's not happening, uh, New York. But I will honestly give you... Wow, we didn't even throw in... Okay, so future first and this year's first... Okay, so let me throw in, obviously, this year's first. Top three protected. Protection backup. Will they take this? No. Okay, here. Let me restart here. Let's... Uh, see, I don't think I'm going to be a very bad... I don't think we're going to be a bad team next year. Honestly, I'm going to throw in next year's unprotected. This year's second. Uh, oh, wow. We have a couple of seconds. I'm going to give them all of this year's seconds. Will they take this? No. Uh, I will throw in the 2025. Oops. 2025 first round pick and they took it okay 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 so we're gonna be guaranteed Cade Cunningham that's who I want that's who fits with this team the most so I'm gonna take Cade Cunningham boom number one overall pick Cade Cunningham easy peasy we don't have any more picks but that fits uh Josh Jalen Green sorry goes to the Pistons Knicks take BJ Boston um Evan Mobley goes four Greg Brown goes five okay so rookie signings we're gonna obviously accept Cade Cunningham Team player options, we're going to accept Culver. We're going to let Reed go. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. So, we don't have any team player options. Let's see. Um, I'm going to not offer. Let's see. Yeah, six, okay, yeah. I'm not going to offer that. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at this roster here. We got D'Angelo Rosso at the 1. Average 20, 21 and 7. We got Monte Morris as our backup, 8 and 5. Solid numbers uh, for our backup. Uh, point guard uh, per 36 13 and 8 uh, shot the ball really well as well uh, and then we have Edwards at the 2 Culver and Cunningham at the 3 I could move Culver I wonder if I could move Culver to the oops not the height um, I wonder if I can move him to the oh no he goes down shoot okay that's fine uh, hmm okay so we have we have Culver. I mean, Culver's going to come off the bench. Stewart's a 76 overall. Okay, so we've got... What is that? We got seven. We need a backup center. And I'm going to go backup power forward, I think. Okay, so I'm going to try and take... I'm going to try and sign uh, Daniel Theis. And let's see. Theis, Theis, whatever. Um, and then I power... Oh, could we get Jeremy Grant? I don't know if we could afford both but i would love oh, okay we can get both um yeah uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna take that so we're gonna renounce renounce decline those first two renounce and yeah we're all good we're gonna take daniel thice and jeremy grant 
Um, oh no, we didn't have enough money to get... Dang it! Um, okay, so we do need a backup center then. Yikes. Uh, you know what? Let's go Bobon. Let's go Bobon. Yeah, we're gonna go Bobon. Boom. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take Bobon. That works. Um, and so now we got Russell Morris, Edwards, Culver Cunningham, Grant and Stewart, uh, Towns and Bobon. I actually like that. That's a solid squad. All right. Okay. So I keep on forgetting about the staff. Um, so we only have two, uh, uh, training camps here. I am going to, let's see. Um, Towns isn't moving up, which concerns me. I need him to be really good. So I'm going to move him up a little bit there with untapped potential. And then I'm going to give uh, Cunningham, I'm sure, already has an A+. Plus. Oh, he only has an A? Hmm. What about Stewart? Where's Stewart at? B+. Plus? Okay, I want Stewart to get better. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the rotation we're going to go with. We're going to go with Russell, Edwards, Cunningham, Stewart, Towns, Culver, Morris, Grant, and Boban. Um, so yeah, that will be hour five uh we're gonna go one more year with uh Thibodeau. um uh i'm gonna actually yeah i'm just gonna keep everything like that uh system proficiency we're gonna go balance i don't think there's anything better uh and let's see what happens uh during the season all right so season two is over and we go 53 and 29 there we go Giannis wins mvp Cade cunningham wins rookie of the year 10 points wow only 10 points per game 6.5 rebounds but 9.2 assists that's why i wanted him because d'angelo i mean he was getting six seven assists per game but i don't he's more of the scorer so i just thought that that would be better to have kate cunningham as a point forward and then have edwards as another slasher scorer um so yeah I, I think that worked out pretty well and he shot decently i mean not bad for a rookie 43 percent from the field 75 from the free throw line 35 from three demarcus cousins wins six men of the year dpoy goes to ad rj barrett most improved and jb bickerstaff is the coach of the year so all nba first team carl anthony towns on the first team uh 26 10 and 4 nice shot 50 44 great that's that's exactly what i wanted to see from him um all nba second team we do not have anyone on there and no one on the third team all defensive first team no one all defensive second team no one uh kate cunningham uh obviously on the all rookie first team so we are the number one seed in the western conference uh and let's see so towns led us in scoring edwards 24 six and okay so see this is exactly what i wanted uh, wait, where's... Oh, yeah, Russell's right there. So, yeah, these are the three top scorers, right? Now, assists per game. Like, Russell can get 7.7 .7 assists. Like, that's awesome and all. But that's where, like... That's where Cunningham comes in uh, to get the nine assists. Uh, 10 points. Isaiah Stewart, 10 and 8. Culver, 11 and 4 off the bench. Perfect. Uh, Grant adding in some defense and some offense off the bench. Morris adding in some offense off the bench. Uh, Boban adding size and defense off the bench. Honestly, I really like this team. I like how I built this team. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what happens in the playoffs. We do. Uh, we are playing Phoenix, who have Killian Hayes, Devin Booker, Jalen Johnson, Markinen, DeAndre Ayton. They're a pretty good team. They're young, though. So, let's go ahead and simulate the round. Uh, simulate game. We win game one. Uh, we win game two. Uh, we win game three. And we uh, sweep them. So, now we got Oklahoma City. We have Chris Paul, Shea. Uh, Ananubi, okay, uh, Basley, and, oh, wow, they have Bull Bull. Okay, that's scary. 23 and 10. I'm so scared of Bull Bull in this freaking game. We're up 2-0, though. Uh, we're up 3-0, and... <gasps> we just blew a 3 lead! Oh, man. Freaking Bull Bull, are you kidding me? Oh, my God, the Lakers went back-to-back. Oh, Giannis is in LA. Didn't realize that. He won MVP and I didn't even realize he's in LA. We were going to lose no matter what. Wow. All right, let's look at playoff stats. So you didn't play well. Um, I mean, honestly, I think everyone played pretty well. I mean, our top five guys all pretty much shot 50% from the field. All of our top four guys shot over 40% from the three. Culver only shot 27 from 3, 38. Okay, so Culver did not play that well. Jeremy Grant played really well. Monte Morris played solid. Bowen didn't play great. I mean, I think we're just probably a couple years away. I mean, 
Edwards is still only in 86. Cunningham was a rookie. Stewart was only in his second year. Uh, Culver is only in his third. So, I mean, I guess we're just a little too young. But, dang, man. That sucks. So, since we blew a 3-0 lead, we are uh, firing Tibbo. Because, uh, you know, we, we can't fire. Or, we can't blow a 3-0 lead. It's ridiculous. Uh, we definitely need a trainer. Uh, for our head coach, well, we're not going to go with the guy who keeps blowing 3-1 leads. Nick Nurse. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for Nick Nurse. Uh, let's offer him a ton of money. See if he takes it. As far as assistant coach, uh, let's go Let's go with Dawkins. Let's see if he'll sign with us. Um, okay, so we can't. That's fine. We'll grab a different assistant coach. So we got Nick Nurse. Big time. Uh, can we... Wait, we can't afford him. Boom, there you go, cool. Uh, all right, so we're all good as far as that goes. The NBA draft, Imani Bates is a 91 overall. Holy moly. Okay, uh, wow, that's interesting. Um, and kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so he goes number one to the, pel wow, Imani Bates and Zion. That will be interesting. We do not have a pick. Team player options here. Obviously, we're gonna accept Edwards and uh, Stewart um and other than that uh qualifying offers we'll go ahead and send a qualifying offer to jerry culver um and then i would like to sign jerry culver i'm gonna pretty much br Ooh. uh d'angelo russell is a free agent um we we don't have i don't think we have any money like could i oh we do we have a decent amount we could go but i i kind of want to win with this team i don't think it's realistic that anyone would really come here um so i think i'm good we could try and go for bull bull though he is restricted but i mean yolo right <laughs> i mean hey if we get him um let's go ahead uh for d'angelo russell a big deal and then we'll wait on jared culver so uh yeah no i mean we could have bull bull instead of instead of d'angelo russell yeah, I'm not doing that though. Uh, I'll take D'Angelo Rosa, but we were we were close to getting Bobo. That would have been kind of cool, but yeah, we're 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 good there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, keep D'Angelo Russell. Um, we're gonna cap hold Culver. Ooh, Monte is a free agent. Did not see that. Okay, so I want to keep Monte. Okay, so we are here in training camps. So we're gonna go ahead and do some untapped potential. We're gonna give untapped potential to. Um, let's see who's at where are we at here? Okay, so let's give Cunningham untapped potential. Let's give uh let's see, we're gonna give Isaiah Stewart untapped potential, and I'm gonna give Anthony Edwards untapped to put uh potential. So here's the rotations for your number three. We've got D'Angelo Russell, Edwards, Cunningham, Stewart, Towns, Culver, Morris, Grant, and we replaced Boban with Olinick. So adding some more shooting off the bench. Um, hopefully that works out and uh we should be all good to go no uh preference on any of that but we do have nick nurse this year uh system proficiency uh we have seven seconds four stars okay we'll go with that so year number three is over uh we go 57 and 25 lebron wins mvp imani bates wins rookie of the year dennis schroeder six man dpoy is anthony davis halliburton wins most improved and uh, we have coach of the year so we have the best record in the nba nick nurse um all right so no one on the all nba first team uh no one on the second team no one on the third team this is not necessarily a bad thing uh, because uh obviously it, it could be just a well-balanced team uh well we had no literally no awards okay so we are the first seed in the west regular season stats here uh wow edwards should have been on an all nba team 29 points per game five rebounds five assists a steal he is uh now officially our best player towns 24 and 10 uh, D'Angelo Russell 23 and 8, Cunningham 10 and 10, Stewart 10 and 7, Culver 10 and 4 off the bench, Monte 7. Okay, how did uh, what's Edwards shooting uh, percentages looking like? Wow, he shot nearly 50% from three. Are you kidding me? He's an 88 overall. Holy moly. Okay, so let's go ahead. We are up against Portland. Um, by the way, who does Portland have? They got Dame, CJ, Cameron Reddish, Ashua, Wendell Carter Jr. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead. We are up 3-0, and we almost just blew another 3-0 lead. We won, but we almost blew another 3-0 lead. Uh, Oklahoma City just swept San Antonio, uh, and they, they're the ones that beat us last year in the same round. And they're up 2-0, and they're up 3-0. Yeah. 
and the Lakers win again because they have Giannis and LeBron. All right, so another year. Giannis wins MVP. So LeBron and Giannis just, you know, trading away MVPs here. Uh, Giannis DPOY as well. We got Coach of the Year again. We won 58 games. Uh, no one on the All-NBA first team. No one on the second. No one on the third. No one on all defensive uh, teams, either of them. We are the number one seed, though. Let's look at season stats here. Uh, Anthony Edwards, 26, 5, and 5. Towns, 25, 10, and 5. Russell, 24, and 8. Cunningham, 10, 7, and 10. Stewart, 10, and 7. Culver, 9, and 3. Cousins, 8, and 3, and, or 8, and 4. Jeremy Grant, uh, okay, okay, okay. This has got to be the year. Are we, like, we're first in scoring, um, and then points allowed, we are, like, right in the middle, so... That's kind of hurting us. We aren't a great defensive team. So we are playing Oklahoma City. Uh, they no longer have Chris Paul, but they still have Bull Bull. They've beaten us in two straight playoffs. And they win game one. We're going to simcast this. Uh, they win game two. I just can't get past Oklahoma City. I just, I can't. I can't get past Oklahoma City. They're literally the worst. Oh, we won a game. We won a game. We're down 3 1. And. Bull Bull beats us again. Okay, so as you guys can see in the bottom right corner, we are 19 and 17. We're struggling. I'm going to make a trade. Uh, D'Angelo Russell is 29. Isaiah Stewart's not really doing much. Uh, and this trade popped up with Tyler Hero and John Collins. Collins is having a good year. Tyler Hero is having a good year. Uh, we got to throw in uh, Antonius Cleveland. I think this is worth it. So I'm going to just one last like hurrah. Uh, let's put them. In, okay, that's fine. Uh, do you want to make this trade? Yes. Miami Heat agree. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at this ro rotation then. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Cunningham at the, th or at the one. Uh, and then I'm going to put uh, Tyler Hero at the two um and then i'm gonna put uh john collins obviously at the four um and then let's see we're gonna give grant like 16 minutes more it's like 16 minutes cousins can have 10 jerry culver can have his 36 collins uh tyler hero and then let's see we can do like something like this um so yeah, uh, I think that's what we're gonna go with. We gotta get these guys up here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I had to make a trade. We weren't doing very good um, at all. And I don't know, I, DeAndre Russell just wasn't working for us. So we're gonna go with that um, system proficiency. Nothing really changes. We're still seven seconds. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so we go ahead and finish 51 and 31. Not bad. I'll take it after a, a terrible start. Giannis wins another MVP. Uh, and he wins DPOY as well. Mikey Williams, most improved. Monty Williams, coach of the year. Uh, we got no one on any of the... Oh, no, we got Towns on All-NBA second team, 24, 10, and 4. Uh, and then we got Cade Cunningham on All-NBA third team, 11, 11, and 7 rebounds per game. Okay, I will take that. No one on any of the defensive uh, teams. We are the three seed playing Dallas. Thank God we're not playing Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City's on the whole other side, but we now we, we got we got Luca. So, I mean, I don't know. Edwards twenty six five and five. Uh, Tyler here I was twenty one and three. Collins twenty and nine. Cunningham eleven and eleven. Uh, Cunningham is just a uh, he's just he's just really good. He's really good at running the team. Uh, moving him to point guard, I think. Uh, will hopefully end up working out. We were second in scoring, and we were, yikes, we were uh, pretty bad defensively. We were like 23rd. So here we go. Uh, we lose game one. We lose. We lose game two. Okay. So this is how it's gonna go, isn't it? We are gonna lose in the first round again. We're down 3-0. We're we're down 3-0. If we lose, I I give up. I I don't know. This team just can't, this, this team, this team cannot win. We weren't going to beat the, oh, Dallas, okay. Well, Boston wins. See you guys in the next episode. Whatever. Subscribe if you guys want to do all that crap and 
Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I don't want to do this rebuilding series. That was frustrating.